Welcome everyone, today we have a guide video on how to prepare for the 5 stars and 4 stars for patch 1.1. We'll also be looking at other characters that's currently in the game. As you can see, I have prepared a number of resources for us, from level 0 to level 70 for all the resin and moral cost, and after that we'll look at artifacts, and also we have a very detailed Genshin Impact material tracker which allows us to see what is needed for different level progression. For example, in this detailed Excel, if I'm going for the look and Ascension level level 5, this Excel will tell me what is needed. And also we can collect and recount all the materials we have gathered in the game to adjust for different things. There's characters, Ascension materials that's all listed, and also talent Ascension materials, and also weapon Ascension materials. And finally, I'll show you guys the available resource that is available for repeating world events for 15,000 more a day, and also for the 300k weapon experience in 30 minute guide, and also the artifact farming guide, the monster farming guide, which doesn't require any reason. Finally, we'll look at the cheat sheet that's collected for all the resource. To start our guide, let's have a look at the materials needed for the new characters, for Zonli and Child, which are the 5 stars. One is Geo, one is Hydro. And we can see we need Conlapist and Stat Crunch, and also we need the Surgeon's Insignias and also the Slimes. After that, if we come closely, you can see that we need Freedom and also we need the Gold Books for those characters. We can also have a look at Xinyan and also Donna. You can see all the materials needed. The Valor Grass and Cut Lily will be the more rare resource. And be aware, if we do get them, we should start collecting those resources right away. Next up, we have a Reddit post by Akatos about from level 0 to level 70. Now I have enlarged this picture so we can see it clearly. You can see that the major things we want to focus on is from level 0 to level 70 for a new character we get, how much more does it cost. And also, we can just delay the talents for now. We want to see how much it costs to equip the character with at least 4 star artifacts. This is for one artifact for the moral cost. And also how much does it cost for the weapons from level 0 to level 70 for the moral cost for a purple weapon. Because most of us probably don't have a 5 star weapon, but if you do, you can check the higher rates over here. In order to make it easy for us to digest the information, I made a note here for the estimate cost in Mora. So from level 0 to 70 for a new character we get and also new weapons, the total amount is 1.5 million each Mora. And also for 6 purple artifacts for the new character to level 16, it will cost about 700,000 Mora. So in total, we're looking at about 2.3 million Mora just to get the character from 0 to 70 with full set of gears. Now I'm sure most of you have noticed, although we talk about the Mora that's required for the artifacts, we didn't talk about the artifact experience acquisition. So how do we get this much artifact experience? I had a look of the total artifact experience for the accumulated level for level 16 and level 20 and I decided to make a summary for us as well. So for the purple artifacts to level 16, we need to do 14 runs of the artifact dungeon. We're assuming that each of the runs will get 5 blue artifact and 1 purple artifact for 8820 experience. Similarly, we will take us 30.5 runs to get enough experience to get 1 artifact to go to level 20. So I've counted all the experience for the artifacts, so you can see 408, 420, 840, up to 3780 for 5 star gold artifacts. So this gives us a small estimate that if we don't have any artifact materials, this, will, this is how much the reason will cost us to run the dungeons to get one artifact to the maximum level. Now if you haven't subscribed, this is a really good time to do so. Make sure you also turn the bell on for the latest news as I find more of them for us. You can see that we're really dedicated for Genshin Impact. We'll have builds, guides, tips, news, and events updates for everything that's Genshin Impact related. Now I'm sure most of us are very curious on this comprehensive, detailed Genshin Impact material tracker. Before we start, let's have a look at some of my instructions to use the material tracker. And also a big thank you and shout out to Oppo, the creator of the Excel, and also his friends, Fury and Rommel. I did promise him I cannot pronounce name properly, so hopefully I got it right. So the advice from the Excel creator over here, how to use the Excel is to make a copy of the Excel for future updates. If you make a copy of the Excel, which I share with you guys, if we click on the file section over here and make a copy of this Excel, you will be downloaded to your Google Drive. And this allows the Excel to be updated as the creator of the Excel update for patch 1.1 and future patches. 
after that, we want to fill in the current material count if we have the time. If we don't have the time, it's okay to set all of those to zero. I'll show you where that is. And finally, we'll be filling and changing the green cells for the targeted characters and skill effect. So basically, if we filled in the green cell, the rest of the cell will adjust accordingly. Let me show you guys a demonstration over here. So come to the next tab. This is the starting of the Excel. Go to the next tab over here. You can see that our friend here have a few of the characters. Those are the numbers that he input initially. We can change for those. Let's use Venti for the example over here. I'm planning to get my Venti to essentially level 5. So I'm going to change the 1 to 5. And after that, I'm going to click on Venti. What Excel is going to do is it's going to tell you what are the items you needed to ascend your Venti to Ascendance level 5. And you can see I need the Tranquil Gemstone, six of those, the Hurricane Seed, and also Cecilia. Now keep in mind, guys, this Excel does track all the inputs you put in. So let's say if I have collected, let's say, over 100 of Cecilia over here. And all of a sudden, what's going to happen is it's going to tell me that I no longer need to collect the Cecilia flowers. It's needed, but I no longer need to collect it. Now, after we have selected the characters and weapons, or maybe the attacks and passive we want to go for, what we can do is pull over here and what you're going to see is there is actually a comprehensive tracker for you to see on which days what items are you looking for and this is so helpful because it shows you what mobs you should be looking for what boss you should be looking for and local specialties so very very lovely guide now what i recommend you guys to do is to adjust for the characters that you have you want to plan for even for the new characters as the excel or the updates those and if we want a more detailed summary of the Venti character we're going for Ascension level, come over here from the materials and you can see that if you look for items like the Cecilia flower, what's going to happen is after inputting I have 100, if I click the plus sign, so our Excel creator here, Obo, really did an amazing job with tracking everything. Now it does take a little while to input everything, I haven't done so for my current account, but I think it's definitely worthwhile because it allows you to track multiple characters at once. Let's say if I have Venti, we also have someone who is going to also use the Animo characters elements, let's say Jin. Both of them are going to need the tranquils. And if you come to the material details, it will actually tell you both of those characters are going to need those. So you actually will be farming double the amount. Now, what if inputting numbers and materials are not the thing for you? What I'd recommend is come to the next few tabs. You can see the weapon tab. It will tell you what is needed for your particular weapon. Press Ctrl F to find. Let's say if your weapon is a bow and it will show you Emma's bow. And you can see what is needed for that particular weapon to be ascended further. What are the materials needed? So you don't have to input anything. You can just come over here and see what is needed for your weapon and you can prepare for those. Similarly, our friend also made for the characters what is needed for the characters to be ascended. For Ember's example, we can see the different Everflame seed, the small lamp grass, and also fired arrows. So it's very, very comprehensive and it's so much detail. And this can best prepare us for the current patch 1.0 and for the future patch as our friend update the Excel. So currently it's fully updated for patch 1.0. And finally, you can see there is a talent tab. Basically, if you're going for Ember's attack passive, if you're going for Ember's skills, you can see that our friend Obo actually highlighted everything for the books, for the required items, and also Mora. It's very comprehensive, and you can see the burst spells, barbar spells, so he went so much detail. Look how, how detailed it is. He went for all the characters. And I had a chat with him yesterday to talk about how much work he put into Genshin Impact. He was really happy that I'm making free-to-play and low-spending content. And he loves to play games in that respect as well. It's more enjoyment for the game. And for him personally, he always tracks the gacha games he plays. And he's so talented and so experienced on this. It's so amazing. So I'm really excited to show you guys this. And make sure, guys, if you haven't checked it out, definitely try it out. So it's very, very good. You can see the characters. You can see the weapons you want. And there's so many things you can adjust. And even you can track your talents. You can track your skills. There's so much you can track as well. Make sure you do adjust for your own characters. Some of those characters are his. Some of those are added. So for examples over here. Now that I showed you guys the materials that's needed for the new patch heroes, for the four heroes for patch 1.1, and also the current patch 1.0 heroes. So also I showed you guys, you know, the ascension that's needed from 0 to 70, and also the information we have over here. It's important that we know how to find and farm, prepare for the materials. So Risen is a big problem. I'm sure most of us know what to do with Risen. I can make a guide on those if you guys want, but I want to give you guys all the resource and information that doesn't require any Risen. 
So we'll be looking at four different ways to get more out of the game without spending any reason. So coming over to my guide videos over here, the first video shows how to log on and log off at the warp point to repeat the world quest to get companionship experience, also to get the moral reward and also 20,000 weapon experience in terms of enhancement more. So check out this video first, I'll be having all of those videos in the description for you. After that, if you are short on weapon experience and you want to see what are the patch 1.1 weapons, the latest post on the guide shows you how to get weapon experience with a comprehensive location and a replay as well. Similarly, we also talk about how to get artifact daily experience without reason any cost. So you can be looting artifacts on the response. They respawn pretty much every day, but I did, did get a confirmation from a viewer and I did try it. Some of those are not responding daily. The What I found was most artifacts are supposed to respond daily. There's a few that doesn't. So if they don't respond daily, just be aware of the roots. Just take it out, out of the root. So I think one or two of the artifact roots out of the 16 of you didn't respond daily. So be aware of that. Next up, I'll also show you guys how to be farming monsters. This is very important because we can farm monsters for about 300 loots for the Ascension materials in about 30 minutes. And you can do this every day. And on top of that guys, the previous video I showed you guys, we can get 3500 character experience for each character in the party, which add up to about, you know, 14,000 experience. Three blue experience books as we farm for about 30 minutes is really good. And, you know, as you see the previous videos, we talk about how and why it is so important to not cap level your characters. Stay on 69, stay on 79, stay on 59. Don't level cap your characters. And finally, if you guys haven't seen this one, this is a good summary of a lot of useful information that is collected onto one cheat sheet. I made a video to talk about how to use it and go into each part of the sheet in detail. So if you want to check it out, do come to this video as well for the collected resource that's available. And finally, before we finish, guys, I'll be posting all of those picture summaries guides onto my Twitter. And I also want to make a special thank you credit for all the content creators who actually made those available. So let's keep a track of all everyone. So here you can see Devil is the Devil Taki is the one that created those particular ones. And let's see if we come over here. And similar for those and those ones, you can see Devil Taki over here. And next up, our Reddit poster who actually posted this is Akratos. And finally, Otto is the creator over here who actually made this available. So very thankful for them for sharing this and making it possible for us to have more resources in the game. To summarize this video, we had a look at what is required for the characters in the new patch and also the existing patch. After that, we had a look at some of the required moral and a lot of reason and a lot of the experience materials from level 0 to level 70 with this summary. We went through the instructions and usage of this massively detailed and comprehensive tracker for the materials for the characters. And finally, I showed you guys a number of ways that we can actually get more resources out of the game without spending any reason. The goal for our guide videos is always to help you find more resources in the game without having to spend money. We always want to promote free to play and low spending in the game and this is the best way to enjoy the game. Now if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also turn the little bell on for the latest news. I'll be looking towards to make more builds, guides, tips and news and event updates for us as we come further into the game. And as always, I wish you guys the best of luck with catching and have the most fun in exploring this wonderful world.